I'm Randy Ruger, and this dugout was built by my great-grandfather, who came from Switzerland back in the early 80s, uh, joined the church, and his family disowned him. His first wife had passed away. He married another woman that was, I think, at her height, biggest height was about 4'9 or 4'10. And they brought one son, my Uncle Gene, with them. When he came over here, he was a, a very accomplished musician and a, uh, uh, evidently played the violin real well. He was a music professor at a university in Switzerland, but he could not speak a word of English. But in 1900, they moved, for, they, they came to Richfield, Utah in the 1880s, eventually migrated up into Moreland, Idaho, close to where I live now and then came over here in 1900 and built this dugout. It's a two-level dugout, and he only lived here for two years. He passed away in the bottom floor, bottom section of this dugout from pneumonia. Mm -hmm. He had uh, four children that I know of. I don't, I'm not familiar with his other children, but he had two boys and two girls, my Aunt Annie, Aunt Nettie, and Uncle Gene, and my grandfather. My grandfather and Uncle Gene did not spend much time in this dugout because they were out trying to scrape away, uh, scrape enough money to support the family in this valley and all over, herded sheep, all sorts of farm work. Uh, we started restoring it in 2009. There was a half of restoration done in the, 18, or the 1960s, but it was only restored as a one level, looked like a chicken coop to me. But, but uh, in 2009, the family got together and decided to, to put the restoration to it. Uh, archaeological Society or Archaeological Group from BYU came down here and dug out and looked at all artifacts and determined how this thing had been built. People who lived in the Ruger dugout had to use a ladder to go from the lower level to the upper. My brother's, my father, grandfather's name was Arthur, Grover Arthur Ruger, and they, uh, he was 12 years old when they built this dugout, 14 when his grandfather, my great-grandfather passed away. I have a lot of respect for anybody that could stand two years in this cabin <laughs> with the, with the uh, winters that they've had up here and, and everything else. I, I have a lot of respect. I'm, I'm just beginning to really understand at my age and appreciate my great-grandfather.